Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing some unboxing, um, some affordable brands, and some very unique um, carity, which I have never tried before. I um, was getting a lot of questions in the makeup field. Is it a declutter? I'm trying to organize. I swear. So yeah, again, let me know. I'm going to start a whole basket full of decluttering as I go. So here is the Carity Smoke Palette. And I have watched a couple of tutorials and so far they've gotten good reviews. So I wanna open it up. And one of my YouTubers suggested if I've tried uh, Coastal Scents and I have not, and I did make a small order because they're very affordable. They had palettes for four ninety nine. Look at these colors, you guys. I just got a swatch. This is a vanity. That is just beautiful. Whoa! Oh my gosh, this is so colorful. Let's swatch. Scandal, like a neon pink matches my shirt almost that is gorgeous I mean these if they perform like they swatch just try this yellow radioactive oh geez just beautiful let me know at the end if you want me to do a tutorial there it is right there my bracelets in the way um, of any of these palettes or any of these items that I'm going to show you so that is the smoke palette by Carity. I believe they retail for 25, but they had a day where I think it was Labor Day. Everything was 25% off, which is phenomenal. Yes, I'm wiping it. I look like I've been beaten when I go out and I've swatched people. Are like, I mean, they know, but it's just crazy because it just doesn't look right. Or I walk into a lot of walls and I bruise. Here is the blush and bronze from Carity. I mean, the palettes are really big, you guys. And I like them. They're cardboard. And uh, they are cruelty-free. Definitely. I don't know if it says how many... This is... Um, it does not say... Or I can't read how... This is definitely bigger than a lot of palettes I have. And for the price point, it's just, if they perform, it's great. So here's the blush and bronze. Look at those colors. Let's watch this. It's like a cool toned kind of, ooh, beautiful. Let's try a blush. Let's go with this one right here, like a plum purplish. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Now you can mix them, you know, if they're too bold, tone it down a little bit. I do that a lot with my blushes and my bronzers and my contouring. I mix and match just a lot of different ones because some are just way too dark or way too bright. So then I have from Carity and they package it really well, which is great. Who doesn't love these bubble poppers? Like when I was a little kid, I used to stomp on them. Just peachy. This is so cute looking. It's got a peach on there. So this is um, the vegan free, cruelty free. So let's see here. That is super, super cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, this looks beautiful. They don't. They don't have a scent, which is good. There's no scent, no, you know, it's not a bad scent and there's not a good scent, so it's just there. So they have the names on the back, which is good. And they also have them on the front. I mean, come on, why not? And I like that. So let's swatch Delicious. These are beautiful, you guys. Oh my God. Look at that pigmentation. So maybe if you're into like the Too Faced, but it's too expensive, Warm and fuzzy. Oh my gosh. 
you might want to try this as an alternative. I mean, heck, if I would have seen this before, glow up. Beautiful. You know what? I like to put the side by side. I don't know if you can see that glow up one. Let's do another one. Um, let's do Atlanta. The finger I haven't used. It's a light neutral color and they are super pigmented. I am going to grab my palette. Okay, so here is the Just Peachy palette, guys. I want to compare because, I mean, it's not going to be 100% similar, but I'm just saying it could be a very great, and look at the mirror. I mean, they give you a really good size mirror. I'm telling you, I, I haven't tried them yet, but, so look at them side by side. So you're going to get both of your, um, if I can hold it right, geez, the lighter shades are here. You got the peachy shades up in here. You got the darker plum shades around here and the browns. I mean, I think if they perform well, I think this could be a pretty good dupe. I don't know what's wrong with my hand. Just not very sturdy here. There we go. So I will let you know how they perform. Again, if you want a tutorial and you want me to uh, record it and so you can see, but it doesn't smell like that. But anyways, it, it's not worth the price point for the smell. I'm just saying, if it performs like this one, uh, that is a big, big difference in price for 25 plus 25 percent off which i know it's not right now so you pay 25 bucks as opposed to the 42. yeah you can almost get almost double for your money you guys so if you want we can totally uh do this on camera i could even do try to do one eye and uh the just peachy two face and one eye and the carry and then we have the unicorn dreams how beautiful is that shimmery again the names on the back open it up and the packaging is very cute it is cardboard but it's very sturdy very thick very beautiful uh, I'm impressed so then here are the colors oh my god look at those purples a little bit of green I gotta swatch the green which is sky It's like a mint green, you guys. Beautiful. Oh my god. Uh, mystical. We got to go with the mystical. Beautiful. Oh, geez. Those are pretty. I think I'm going to really like this fairy tale. I just, I think these could be really great dupes for other palettes. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what other palette would be a dupe for, but. Let me know if you think of one, and I will try to come up with one. But on its own is absolutely gorgeous. These are phenomenal. They swatch beautifully. They have a nice big mirror. Um, so yeah, I'd love to do the peach one with this. I think it would be great. So we're gonna move on now. Set that aside. Because I've been waiting for this for like six weeks, a month and a half. Literally, I don't know, maybe they're going through some of the weather, but it took forever. And I was kept uh, harassing it. Well, I wasn't harassing him, but I just kept asking, where is my package? So this is Storybook Cosmetics. They always include the little bookmark. And then they have the little tissue paper. Now, I watched a video yesterday. Jay Kissa, I love her. She's great. She got the same thing. And her... This is... Eyeliner kit was dried up. So I am praying mine is not. So it is the Quill and Ink 
by Storybook Cosmetics. Isn't that beautiful? It's a nice tin. Open it up. And everything, oh geez, look. Everything's rolling around. This is the lid to the ink bottle. That's not good because I don't know if hers was completely off. It was hard to get out, but it was off and it was dried up. So I, I think mine's dried up too, guys. Let me try it out with this. if I can get a swatch no it's I mean maybe if you dig down deeper and swish it around a little bit mix it up yep that might work but I I'm gonna contact them because that's not cool that that lid is adorable but it is not um, sealable enough to be packaged like that and uh, again like I said I've waited almost two months for this is cute packaging now let's see if I can get a swatch with it let me clean my brush real good so if you stir it up really really good then uh, I think you can use it yep you just have to stir it up. The top part had dried out because the lid was completely off. So let's put the lid on. It does tighten, but it pops right off. It's not, I wouldn't recommend this. I'm sorry. I love Storybook Cosmetics, but I am gonna notify them. And I would like a, a replacement and they can have this one back. But I don't know how they're going to keep this lid from coming off because if I just turn it, this falls right off. Turn it to tighten it, it's it's still, it doesn't tighten. Okay, so enough said about that. I'm not happy with the ink. Um, now she showed the, this is super cute. So you get the little, the little ink liner and then you put the pen in it. Look at that. This is adorable. And then this is your eyeliner. Now I didn't want to dip into that with my brand new eyeliner, which I can't even get the plastic off of the end. Jeez. I mean, it is on there. Oh my God. Wow. I was super excited to see this today and then, Okay. Well, this is just not working out, you guys. Okay, I finally got it off. Wow. It was like glued on there. So here is the end of it, which is kind of fine. And then I will put the tip back on as long as I can get it off. And there you go. So, yeah, I, I will be contacting them. I I just feel this uh, whole thing was either rushed NFL or, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say, but I love their brushes and their, the Harry Potter palette I got. Uh, this, they're going to have to mail out a new one because it's, it's, okay, but this is cute, so I'll set it up for now and we shall move on packaging is cute uh, I don't recommend ordering it until they fix the issue because it's just an issue yes so you want your uh, makeup to be able to be usable and that it's just a wreck don't if you do get it don't take it anywhere like she said because Jay kisses she said you put that in your makeup bag and it's just not going to work out. So this is from Beauty Creations. And I had gotten a few things from them. And then they had a big Labor Day sale. And I ordered a couple more. Because I did use the candy palettes. Uh, I did a full tutorial on it. 
And wow, they really package, boy. Jeez. So, uh, yeah, I was very, very happy with my order. They include the little postcard, which is super cute. And then a lot of bubble wrap. You give it to my granddaughter when I have fun on it. Um, as you can see, it goes on for a while. I'm gonna extra, extra wrap it. Jeez. Okay. We have Irresistible Creations. I, I don't remember what I ordered, so I don't know what it is yet. It's like a surprise for me, too. If I can get it out of the sleeve. I just don't know what's going on with this unboxing, but it's like... There we go. There, Cute little packaging. These are also cruelty-free. This is 15 grams. And it is, ooh, the eyeshadow palette. Oh, yeah, I remember this. So let's swatch a couple on this arm. We're going to go, and they have the names. We're going to go in and swatch Venetian Red. Or maybe we'll do it over here. Ooh, you can really see that. It's beautiful. And then Red Ochre. And I believe I got these were a package still like the two palettes for 15. Look at that pigmentation. It just kind of reminds me of a modern renaissance. Some, some of it party. It's just beautiful, you guys. I mean, these are so affordable. Oh, my God. They're beautiful. I'm not even going to try and get it back in that sleeve. Okay. And then we have, so that was Irresistible. This is Butterfly. Again, 15 grams, cruelty free. Oh, wow. Look at that. You get a little out of the um, glitter shadows. Let's go in with Most Wanted. Ooh, very sparkly. Sparkling nude. Oh yeah. And let's go, oh, let's go with a dark one. Night Heaven. It's beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh, these are really great buys. Very affordable, kind of like a color pop price. Maybe some of it a little bit cheaper. Oh, now I know what this is. I remember Jeez. glitter so they have a ton of these little glitters and they're like a couple bucks and then they have the Labor Day sale so I got this one in Dream Girl and then I got this one in Fairy Dust and uh, it says you can use it on your face your eyes your lips it's got a little cork in there it's cute and then there's some of it. So, yeah, you gotta use glitter glue and, you know, you can use it on your eye or whatever. Those are super cute. And like I said, there was a, they were only a couple dollars. Okay, and then... I got the... Beauty Creations Bodor Shadows. Very pretty packaging. And very neutral shadows. So we're going to go in and swatch. There is no name. They are cruelty free and this is 13 grams. The brown, kind of like a neutral brown. A little bit hard to see but it's because of it. It's like a neutral, and then here's a glittery shadow. So as you can see, Beauty Creations, I think, so far is just phenomenal. Okay, so I have a note here. It says, out of stock, sorry. On um, the Bake Pops highlight. Okay. Well, they charged me for it still, so I guess I'll get it when it's in stock. 
so I'll have to contact them. And I got an eyelash curler for a couple bucks. So, anyways, that is my haul. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see any tutorials of any of them. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you again soon. Bye.